Hey guys, I've been getting really positive feedback from you and a lot of you have been requesting me to upload another video. I'm truly glad you guys enjoy my content and I can't thank you enough for the amazing support and motivation. So here's a video in collaboration with Mortis Media. He has another video him and I narrated up on his channel. So if you enjoy this one, head over to his and watch the other part of this collab. Here are five ghost towns who were once filled with life and a bright future, but are now left alone with nothing but the constant reminder of what once was. Senzai Pod City Appropriately named the ruins of the future, this tourist attraction in New Taipei City has been featured in numerous movies and gotten a lot of attention from photographers and online discussion boards due to the building's unique UFO-like structure. These out-of-this-world homes were meant to serve as a vacation spot for U.S. military officers returning from their East Asia posts. Unfortunately, due to the lack of funding, car accidents, and the amount of suicides committed during the construction period, the project was abandoned in 1980. Sadly, these pictures are all that's left of the UFO houses as they were all demolished in 2010. Jerome. Jerome boomed to house about 15,000 people with their hearts set on making it rich in gold mining. After realizing that what they were finding was mostly copper, Jerome saw its population dip to as low as 50. The copper mine finally closed in 1953, taking the only source of income that the town had left. That was until the government came in and bestowed upon the little town the fine business of tourism. Today, the place is a state park, meaning that there are federal dollars propping up the decaying old buildings, while actors, artisans and historians wander the streets, recreating the glory days of copper mining. Virginia City Virginia City is not only a ghost town in the sense that the city's economy collapsed, but also in the sense that this is one of the most haunted locations in the state. With so much paranormal activity going on, it's hard to wander the streets without feeling like you're being watched. As Virginia City grew to reach up to 30,000 residents, so did the need for cemeteries. The town saw several deadly mining accidents with about 300 reported deaths. One story goes, that a glowing headstone can be seen at night at the Silver Terrence Cemetery. Others believe the glowing light is from the ghost of a girl who roams through the rows of headstones, searching for her father. Coleman Scop, Namibia Located in the Namib Desert in southern Namibia, this formerly small yet rich mining village is now a one-of-a-kind ghost town. German miners built the town around 1910 when Zacharias Lawala found a single diamond in the area whilst working. This revealed the abundance of richness waiting to be discovered, driven by the thought of enormous wealth. The residents built the village in the architectural style of a German town with institutions including a hospital, ballroom, power station, school, theater, sports hall, and the first x-ray station in the Southern Hemisphere. Nowadays, you can take a guided tour through the sandbox houses or just wander around by yourself. Either way, taking a walk around this ghost town at night would not be a very good idea. Bodhi, California. Bodhi is the ghost town. It was a mining community like the rest, but it's the sense of desolation one gets when they walk around the empty streets that makes Bodhi the legend among the worthy contenders. Back then, Bodhi had the reputation of being one of the most furious, violent, and lawless towns in all of the West. 
Law and Order took a back seat to doing whatever was the inspiration of the moment, including putting a bullet through someone's head if it meant winning an argument. Bodhi once had a population of 10,000 people and some 75 million in gold. The promise for the future remains to be seen, for there is so much gold on their Bodhi, but time has taken its toll on the tunnels and shafts, which are caving in and filling with water. The gold will probably stay where it is, for the cost of mining it exceeds its present day value. Those were five ghost towns who once had a bright future. If you liked the video, go check out Mortis Medius' part over on his channel and let me know what you guys would like to see next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with another one.